Today I'm going to do a power output test of my Akai AA1010 stereo receiver. I've got the probes of the oscilloscope hooked up across the 8 ohm dummy load and also for my uh, signal generator I'm going to be feeding a 1000 Hz sine wave into the aux jack. Here you can see my oscilloscope set up and ready to go. It's at 5 volts per division at the moment. As far as my receiver is concerned, I've got the um, base in the neutral position, the treble neutral position. At the moment my volume is turned down. My aux button is pressed in. I'm going to go ahead and turn the receiver on and next I'm going to start up my signal generator here I've got my signal generator on I let it warm up for a couple minutes the frequency is uh, 1000 Hertz it's going to be a sine wave and right now the amplitude is 1 millivolt but I'm going to have to bring it up some because I am feeding into the aux jack now I'm going to turn up the volume of my receiver all the way and I'm going to start turning up the um, amplitude of the signal let me see here okay so I'm slowly going to go ahead and um, bring it up so right now the signal generator is putting out about 20 millivolts and that's about 60 millivolts you can see I'm getting something on the scope 70 80 90 100 I'm gonna keep going right now I've got what have I got here peak to peak um, Okay, see, so far, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, as I said, it's at um, 5 volts per, 5 volts per division. And let me go ahead and increase now. Okay, it's starting to clip right there. I'm going to take it down a notch and see what I got um, I'll take this one channel here so 5 10 15 20 25 30 um, 30 volts peak to peak now to do the math so I'm gonna do the math now that was 30 volts peak to peak and I divide that by 2 that gives me the center of the peak voltage then I times that by 0.707 that gives me the RMS voltage then I times that by itself Square that 0 0.605, and then I divide that by 8 ohms because I got an 8 ohm load on there. So I come out to 14 watts. That's what both channels driven at the same time and feeding in a 1000 hertz sine wave and actually the receiver is actually rated at 14 watts per channel I think both channels driven so it looks like this is uh, fairly accurate 